What is up, my squirtle guys? It is I, your king, and today let's have a look at Jet the Far Shore from developers Super Brothers and Pine Scented Software. This is only Super Brothers' second game after Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP, which was released all the way back in 2011. Now, this obviously, as you can see, came out in 2021, October of 2021, and was released for PC, PS4, and PlayStation 5, which is how we're going to be playing it today. Uh, all I know is that this is an action-adventure game with a heavy emphasis on exploration, and I know absolutely nothing else about it. Now, I obviously can't do... I mean, I, apparently I can force unlock the new one, but it's quote-unquote locked for the time being. This is this was added a couple of years later, I believe with the release of... Uh, I think is when this game actually came onto PlayStation Plus Premium. Um, when Given Time came out, but uh, we're just going to be focusing on the far shore. Obviously, this is just a single episode look at anyhow. We're not going to be seeing this game in its entirety, but uh, I don't really know a whole lot about this game other than that it is very exploration heavy and it has a nice art style. And I don't know. I like games like that. That's really all I need as a prerequisite to check out a game, even if it might not be good. So why don't we just jump right on in and see what we have in store? Embark. Duration. Allow 30 minutes. The scouts embark on their interstellar trip. Let's try it. A people reborn in Gok's dim glow. If we are to outpace oblivion, we must embark. We must heed the hymn waves' divine invitation. To this we are consecrated. So say the sagas. So now, Anchorite, arise and approach. Oh, 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 I didn't realize I could move. Oh, gosh, I was sitting here for so long just waiting for something to happen. I can actually move around. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hello. Hi. Let's look. What do we have here? Um, okay. Those papers are remnant dreams. May they live on within you. Now leave us. We belong to the past. You belong to our future. Go, go. Okay, I guess I will just be going then. Am I going this way? Oh, I am. I'm going this way. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't like the fact that they all looked at me like that. May, you're all grown now, but please remember how we look to the stars together. Remember our love. What about you, Dad? Think not on our plight, be resolute. You were chosen to look beyond our troubled skies. I can't talk to my dad? Well, all right. I guess we'll just keep going then. Where are we going? Where am I walking to exactly? I know we're supposed to leave somewhere. Hello. I'll take care of mother and father and the life. I love how you're just called sibling. Your place, it seems, is among the stars. I'll miss you, little sister. Okay, well. This does not look like a super happy place. Everyone's a little bit concerned. Whoa, you are a fellow. Ready to go aloft, May. All these fond farewells are breaking my heart. Sure. Gosh, you're a goofy looking dude. Gotta say, are you the a lost member of the Beatles? Also, we can apparently sprint, although I wouldn't really call this sprinting. Honestly. Can I just climb up into the ship and take off? That would be ideal. Oh, hold to get in. Sorry. You this is me. May. Well, May, we still have each other. That's some comfort. The others are at Cosmodrome Z13. Let's move to rendezvous. I'll take her aloft. You relax. I expect you have a great deal on your mind. And I guess we're flying now. Uh, 
Are we? May, how are you feeling? I'm told the anchor at Sama zeroes your memory for a time. I'll remind you of our path ahead, in case you're still adrift. We'll jet out from these dunes, then head offshore through the Kolos Gate. I'm told there's to be a crowd out for the last look. Uh, crowd. I'm heartened to see so many of our fellow scouts floating above us in their buoys. I'm heartened, too, to hear the crowds, hear of crowds gathered beneath the Kolos Gates. Common folk, Cosmodrome laborers, likely even some dignitaries, out to mark this moment. Their dreams will live on within us, is how Zhao put it. However, I'll admit, it's a struggle to hold that thought for long. Still, they'll all soon recede. Then we must strive to be resolute. May, up ahead, our old scout proving grounds. I'm glad our path today has us traversing old memories. Let's take the jet for a spin, step through, through some gates. Care to take the helm? Uh, okay. I had to hit the touchpad for that. This isn't going to be interesting. How, how's this going to work exactly? Whoa! Okay, so, uh, let's go. Helm is yours, May. First gate is straight ahead. Scram jets on. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's turn... Do we want to turn those off? There we go. Okay, let's just, let's just keep that as is. And then we'll just kind of move around. Yeah, I'm following it, Asao. I'm following it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, flight stick is steering just fine. This controls uh, very loosely, actually. We'll just keep following these. It's a very interesting looking game. Hold surge when you're ready for some speed. I mean, I'm already doing that. I've been holding surge pretty much this entire time. What happens if I let go for a minute? Does it? It's it's not like a tangible difference, honestly. You barely can feel the actual speed you're getting out of this thing. Well, we'll just keep following these. Using skid will help you take tight corners. Oh, best at high speeds, mind. Oh, I see. Okay, well, let's do this. And then we will skid. Oh, there we go. Not that that was entirely necessary, given that we had plenty of time to make a wide berth, but we will take it. And my question is, we're, are we going to actually, like, take off, or is just this, like, the takeoff procedure? Are we ramping up here? I guess so. Still don't know what the scram jets do, but whatever. I'll just keep following this path. I love all the hot air balloons. Okay, now we'll use that. That, I, that time I actually needed to, otherwise I probably wouldn't have made it. There we go. Whoa, easy now. Easy. Perfect. Feeling ready to do a jet pop? Uh, sure. How do we do this? Oh, cool. How can it be useful to shake up your surroundings? Is that a good thing? You just go up, I guess. Well, that's cool. Does mean I'm going to have to go up to higher places? Man, there's a bobber up ahead. What say we give it a pop? Let's toggle off scram jets to get close. All right, let's try it. They're off. Oh, are we going up? Hold on, I'm moving. Wait, am I doing this wrong? Or am I supposed to be going up? I actually don't know. I mean, I'm going to keep these on for a moment. Wait, I, oh, I have to. Just get to that bobber and give it a pop. Uh, okay. It just makes me go really slow. Like that? Oh, why couldn't I do that with the Mon? I, I, I honestly don't know. Okay, additional jet control preferences are in settings and gameplay. Okay, cool. I have to actually check out that settings. You know what? Let's actually do that right now. Let's take a look. So, audio, visual, gameplay. Let's see. Master. Okay, these are all audio. Yep. No visual. Just audio. Gameplay. Vehicle pitching. Smart zoom. I'm not going to mess with any of that. Let's just keep going. That all seems pretty much good as is. I right, so have to complete our refresher. So, pull back on the flight stick, then pop. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you go way up. Okay. Probably going to need to use it here. Just a second. And up over it. Oh, I barely cleared that. Oh, did I... Was that not correct? I'm sorry. Sorry, my bad. Let me, let me try that again. Okay, I'm going. I'm going if you'll let me go. Let me surge. Wait, oh, the, that's because they're off. Well, hold on. Let's do that. There we go. How was that? Was that good enough for you? Hopefully it was. 
Please tell me that was good. Okay, he's not reprimanding me, so I have to imagine that it's fine. Woo! Yeah, you can really go up with that. You know, this is giving me, uh, kind of giving me X01 vibes, but without all of the mystique. And also the varied locations. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, okay, we're going this way. I'm not even reading his dialogue anymore at this point. I'm just following the path. Following the path. Okay, we're going to go over this one. Once again, we got to pop it. There we go. We actually hit one of those things, too. Try that again. I don't even know what that actually does for me, but I'm doing it anyway. It's getting kind of spooky out here. Is this just a big training course? Is that all that this is supposed to be? Because what is it going to amount to when I actually, like, get the heck on out of here? Oh. May. May, listen, there's nobody around. Let's cut loose. I'm switching off the limiter on this jet scram jet. Let's see how fast this jet can go, shall we? Well, please, I would love to. Let's, let's find out. Okay. I switch off the limiter, hold down surge, and keep an eye on our instability. Uh, all right, this is it. Scramjet's uh, jet scramjet instability limit. Any more instability will end up overloading. Ease up on surge to reduce instability. Okay, I did, I did. So, so now the surge goes faster, but I also have to like toggle it off more often. I don't know if I like that. I think I'd almost rather keep it the way it is. Like dash roll. What is that? I honestly don't know. But I'm gonna keep using the surge here. It is, I think it is going a little bit faster, but it's still like not super noticeable, if that makes sense. We'll just keep following. Probably going to get into another uh, thing we got to go over here. So let's do that. There we go. I like that. Okay, cool. It still feels very strange. It's super like wavy and... Oh, toggle off the scramjets. Why, why, why? Well, does this place look familiar to you? It looks as if we have alighted on the old high surge zone. Up for this, it'll be just as it was when we were coming up. Surge hard through five gates, no overload. Let's keep the scram jet scramjet instability right around here. Okay. Toggle on to start. Go. All right, I'm not going to go over that. So if I just keep pulsing it. Wait. You're not getting, you're not jetting fast enough. Wait, I'm super confused. What are you talking about? I thought I wasn't supposed to go over that. Okay, let's do this again. No overload. Okay, let's try this again. If it's gonna, wait, why did it turn him off again? Oh my goodness, game. Okay, I'm going. No surging, no surging, no surging. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. What? Oh, I have to keep it above that. Ugh. All right. All right. Fine. I suppose I can try to do that. Goodness. I thought that that was like the freaking... Yeah, let, let, me, let, me, let me go up. You're probably going to turn them off on me again. Yep. There it is. Oh, my goodness. You don't need to do that. This is not how you design a tutorial, guys. All right. We're going. We're going. We're going. So we're going to go to critical. And then when it gets low, we're going to go down and then back up again. And just this over and over and over again. Well, never losing. Oh, when you get when you get to the high instability, it actually is it actually slows down quite a bit. All right, we're fine. We're fine. I don't like having to monitor that over and over again, though. Was this the fifth one? I honestly lost track. Where's the last one at? Oh no, we're just done. I suppose you may, I'd say you've shaken off that Sama. Let's carry this moment, momentum of the Kolos Gate, yonder. And then we can get out of here, please. It's been a very long tutorial. For a whole lot of nothing. Where, where am I going exactly? I'm going to follow this path, I suppose. It's, it, I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to be going. In the slightest. This might be it. It looks like there's something up ahead. Bunch of balloons and whatnot up in the sky. Hopefully that's where I'm supposed to be going. Goodness me. Why are there so many hot hot air balloons? I honestly don't get it. 
Um, no. Let me go around, because I don't want to actually get myself in trouble here. Oh, that looks like a gate of some kind. Let's follow that. I really liked it when I didn't have to monitor this meter. It really kind of ruins the fun, if I'm going to be honest. <sighs> Alright, we're almost there. And also, the frame rate just dropped for no reason. Right between the snakes. Must be a mixed feelings amongst them, too. I don't know. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Oh, I see it now. Okay, well, well now where are we going? The exclusion zone. Those are Z13 is up ahead, just beyond those freighters. So much industry plowed into our endeavor. By Sosi, it's staggering to consider. Countless lives committed over hundreds of years, such a grievous cost. I think soon enough all this hulking machinery will be scrapped for salvage. So I guess these ships are all just abandoned. Uh, not to indulge this line of thinking, approaching Cosmic Dream Z13 now. I'll take the helm to go aground, if you please. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know we were doing that. Well, that was interesting. There's people. Can I get out? Yes, I can. Let's go talk to people. I'm holding it. There we go. All right, who are we talking to? Oh, gosh, this looks really sad immediately. Is this possibly a Soviet allegory? I don't know. I mean, honestly, it could just be an allegory of a lot of things, but it certainly gives me, like, like the, I guess more the, <laughs> the look of the flags and whatnot. It totally gives that vibe off. Um, what was the sprint button again? I don't remember. Um, oh, apparently... What is... There's a walk backwards button? That is so funny. I don't know why. There doesn't seem to be a reason for that. But okay, and apparently I can't sprint. Whatever it is, I can't do that. Yeah, if you hold L2, it just auto-walks you backwards for some reason. This is very strange. Very strange. Hello? Down there? Do you all have beards? Like, every single one of you? Can you at least get these people, like, razors or something? They're very scary looking. Sorry, that's not very kind of me to say to people with beards. I have a beard. That's not... That's not appropriate. <laughs> I shouldn't be so harsh and judgmental. I'm coming, dude. Going ahead, may I follow? I'm a mi of a mind to soak in the sorrowful moment a while longer. Whoa. Think for us, all of this will soon recede. What do you mean by recede? Is, like, everyone here going to die? Well, let's keep walking in the slowest manner possible. Because apparently the sprint bu button just do not work. Whatever it is. I've literally clicked everything on the controller. Hello! Ah, May. Ah, May. So here we are together at this precipice. Jow's aboard the mother structure. There's, there's only us left to go. Our torpor chambers stand at the ready. Pasha, is it time? Aye, Commodore. It is time. Scouts, let's embark. We've a sea of stars to traverse, if forever to alight on the far shore. The hymn wave beckons. Let's delay no longer. Anything to add, Jones? Just one thing, Pasha. May, you go, we'll follow. The crowds are expecting a mystic to embark first. Okay. A mystic, huh? Well, let's uh, head on out and see what we have before us. I really don't know what any of this means, but I'm just going to keep... Uh, following i do see the rocket way over there am i gonna have to walk at this speed all the way to that rocket well i'm coming hello our torpor chamber stand at the ready down below see you on the other side may here we go all these people looking over the wall it's a whole lot of empty faces they're very scary honestly i, they, I don't like the megalophobia i'm getting from this and I don't really have megalophobia, but there's something about, like, this setting in particular. And I guess the framing that's just like, ooh. Oh, it went into a cutscene or something. Or did I... No, we're not... Wait, what? Oh, we're just on the ship now. Okay. I was really confused. This is a very, like... 
slow, slow start. Like, I know a lot of games, a lot of story-based games have that, but there's not, there's so little happening to supplement this slow start that it's just, I don't know, it's very strange. That said, there is something about the artistic vision of this game that I really like so far. I mean, clearly they're very smart when it comes to being able to design environments and make things look right. Um, am I supposed to be doing anything here? I think yes, because I am now holding down the trigger and we're taking off. All right, then. Thought that was just a cutscene, but it looks like I actually do have control here. And if I let go... No, we're up we go. Hey, don't hit any of those hot air balloons on the way up. That would be pretty tragic, not gonna lie. For the, the hot air balloons, I'm pretty sure the rocket would be just fine. Year zero. Oh, and then year one begins. Okay. So we are out of the... Pro oh, gosh. Oh, it's counting up the years. Oh, man. I guess that makes sense. But how many years will it be? Everybody on that planet is long dead now. Long dead. And title. Okay. What an interesting idea, I suppose. I can see why. Okay, so I do want to say when I was looking this game up, uh, it does not have a whole lot of love, I got to say, uh, be from both critics and from fans. Uh, it's got about a 60% average critic rating and fans give it around more like a six like a six to seven out of ten depending on where you look in some places it's even lower than that and I definitely think that this game is for a different type of player a different mind it's an experience I'm sure um, and you can already get that just from the way that they you know the way they do framing and how slow everything is and how it expects you to take everything in very strange very different but I like it I like it so far but wait, are we back at the same planet? I guess that's the question. I don't know. But thus begins, although this video does not have that much time left. That was mostly just the prologue. But at the very least, we can take a look at what happens after this. If there's anything I need to be pressing here. Doesn't look like it. Deploy! Scout unit de uh, deploys from the mother structure to the mythic ocean planet. Let's do it. Okay, so no, this is a new place. What kind of mythic ocean planet are we talking about? Planet 4546B? Maybe? Am I going to run into a ghost leviathan down here? I would really rather not. I don't feel like I'm going to be nearly as well equipped, especially with how slow I move in this game. That would be very unfortunate. A thousand years in the future. It was lonely to be the first. Once our observers arose, we began in earnest. Early on, we were able to determine the hymn wave's source location. Tor, a solemn cone, just as in the sagas. In time, Misha and her scout unit arose. Together, we committed to a scheme to satisfy my directives. As promised, May and Asao will be the first to deploy and alight. Speaking of... Well, y'all gonna t turn around and look at me all scary? Oh, never mind. Aye, they're all set, Jow. Safe passage, old friends. Looking forward to our rendezvous down there. Stay sharp, scouts. Gosh, they sure got some faces. And some very, like, 
oval shaped heads. Football heads, if you will, but like the other way. At least some of them do, maybe not all of them. Now, if this is an ocean planet, why are there so many red lights? So this is it, indeed, Overseer Zhao. Scouts, hear me. Yes, Zhao? It's time. Go. Understood. Let's push off, May. Are we going? Guess we'll see what's down here. Oh, uh, we're dropping. Okay. Gosh, seriously, the vastness of these shots. For as low budget as it is and for as simple as it is, it's really impressive how big they're making everything feel just just in each scene may i please report i commodore all systems nominal adjusting trajectory now a blade of shield in position godspeed scouts all right we're gonna be entering the atmosphere soon with our acorn ship But for as impressed as I am with the art direction thus far, I have to say, um, it really is taking its time way too much. <laughs> like, come on. We, we can get going a little bit here. Feels like it take like, I'm, what am I, almost 30 minutes into this, and it feel, still feels like almost nothing's happened. Except for walking forward a bit and learning how the ship ticks. Descent's got to be a little spooky, I bet. Don't think about that. That was over a thousand years ago. Everyone you love and know is dead. <laughs> uh, it's actually really sad to think about. It's got to be quite eerie, quite haunting to actually be put in a situation like that. Where you wake up and you realize, yeah, all my family has is not only dead, they've been dead for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And now I am that completely on my own. Let's slow things down. Deploying chutes. Scopes restored. Let's see what's out there, May. All right. Here we go. Whoa. That is really weird. Look at that horizon line. Can I, can I control this at all? No. It's just going to keep falling into what looks like a storm. Descent is steady. Shoots have done their job. Let's take a moment to breathe this in. Our new home, if all goes well. Mm, are you sure about that? Slides and compass and scope controls. Go ahead and look around, May. I mean, I guess I'm... Okay, I can look around. I guess I'm being a little too uh, harsh immediately on... Oh, let me hold this. Can we close farther? Oh, Oh, I see what we can do. Was that Scouts Prospects? 90k. All right. Well, that's probably where we want to go, right? I would assume. Well, that's definitely the way we're headed then. Um, yeah, I was gonna say I I immediately wrote this off because I called it an ocean planet, but it's like, uh oh. Gloom. Okay, here we go. People were born in Gok's dim glow. Is that what Gok is? Is it a? Sun? Is it a what is what is that? What is the big blob up there? I honestly don't know. Um, I was gonna say like I dismissed it immediately because like oh it's an ocean planet, but that doesn't mean it's entirely ocean. Technically, Earth is an ocean planet. Tor's Peak is visible above the clouds. Let's see, it's a fair distance. Seems we're off out at sea or off course out at sea. Excuse me. I mean it does say it's ninety kilometers away from here, or ninety thousand. I don't know. We have some traversal ahead of us to reach Scouts Prospect May. Well. We'll figure out what's going on if we ever land. And it looks like this is taking a while. It's time. Let's jettison our shell. All right, here we go. Do it. All right. Down we go. And how far exactly? I have no control over this. It's just diving on its own. Oh, yep. It's definitely stormy. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Well, did we even make it? Are we dead? I don't like the sound of those alarms. 
May, we're alive? I... What just happened? Seems we've emerged mostly intact. Well, I have to press that a lot. O only looking outside at those heaving waves. Scope's restored. Let's take a look around. I'm spamming the touchpad. Heavens, it's wild down here. Okay, scram jets are off. Oh, maybe we can't use them. Storing the jet shield for some protection. Okay. That's good. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, I don't like the the booster. Visibility is limited. We need our jet tools to navigate. Okay. How are we going to do this? Equip our jet's resonator to discern a visible path from here. Which one is that? This one? Resonator tool equipped. Now sweep the scope around. Okay. Let's see. There, on the jet resonator's display, just what we're after. Okay, we need to go that way. Noisy gray resonance, that staccato sound should indicate solid ground. Whoa, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Proceed on uh, heading towards the corresponding beacon over yonder, if you please. Well, I've been holding it the whole time. I really have, but it looks like our boosters are not working all that great at the moment. Uh, I don't want to go in the water. All in this, this storminess. I guess if you're in a ship like this, this really doesn't matter all that much. But what happens if we get struck by lightning? That could be an issue. Ah! Unless we're so freaking weak that we can't uh, pull up or anything. What do these do? Well, that changes... Yeah, okay, I see. It changes the uh, the lights on this thing, from what I can tell. Right? Or or is that even an accessible thing? I Actually, you know what? I don't know. Uh, Yeah? I also kind of lost track of where we're supposed to be going. Well, don't threaten me with a good time, Asal. I don't want to... <laughs> it's like, oh, man. I've been going slow in this game, and now we got to keep going slow. Pouring out our jet. There's a scram jet rendered inoperable. Only take heart, a moment of ground, and we'll have our scram jets restored. Hope we're still going the right way here. Just limp along to solid ground. Well, isn't that just delightful? Guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. This is... I, I mean, I'm intrigued, sort of. It's not giving the greatest first impression, but it is... It's different. I'll give it that. It's very different. This is the kind of game that I would love to play on just a really... Maybe like a rainy day outside. Not because of the weather in the game. That, that has nothing to do with why. Uh, more just due to the fact that there's like... If there's absolutely nothing else to do and I can just put headphones on crank the volume up on this and just kind of sit back relax maybe have like some snacks with me and a couple of drinks this is the kind of game that I would be willing to actually sit all the way through for that reason but in a let's play environment YouTubing probably not uh, I don't know maybe if I actually saw this game through and that could be a big part of it this game could really be a turn off in the early days and get really exciting later on but uh, I think Waiting until it gets to that point is not something that's going to be conducive to our time here. So this has been Jet the Far Shore. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.